Hey, get the kid! These are the moments after gunshots rang out at a youth 10 and under football game at Oakland Tech High School. Kids and families on the ground taking cover. You hear like six gunshots start going off. My first instinct was to get the boys that were right next to me off the field. So we started running up like across the field and I just told them to drop to the ground and I jumped on like five of them and just laid on top of them. And then once, once I heard the shooting stop, I looked, I picked my head up and then another six shots like rang out. Francine Loya coaches the Valley and, Boys uh, team from Fresno who is taking on the Oakland team. Loya believes there was a fight behind the bleachers. People went to see what was happening. And a minute later, gunshots rang out, sending parents running back into the bleachers and elsewhere. And then, um, was I was on, I got them up, parents are running, screaming for their kids, and then I started helping the families that were trying to throw their kids over the fence to the field to get away from the back of the bleachers. Oakland police confirmed that in total, three people were shot. Witnesses say a five-year-old girl was hit along with a man and a woman. And I heard it was between two parents, so, you know, I don't really know if they both were shooting at each other. Kids don't, you know, deserve to be, you know, seeing and witnessing things like this. Kids don't even need to be around things like this. Once you come to these events, things, whatever, on the outside nature shouldn't even be going on here. So it just hurts that it happens here today. Officers haven't said what led to the shooting. But Coach Loya saw the man who had been shot and believes he was hit by a stray bullet. Whatever happened on behind those bleachers happened and it was unfortunate for all the families because you know you see these kids crying, they're in fear. Families are in fear, you know, there's it, it was horrible. It wasn't a good sight. No arrests have been made and police have not released a description of the shooter or shooters in this case. J.R. Stone, ABC7 News.